It's already been announced by Rockstar Games that part two of the Ill-Gotten Gains update is actually going to be coming out sometime this summer. We don't know an exact date, just the general season. Now this brings the question, what would you guys most like to see in it? So before we get into it, leave a comment down below telling me what you guys would most like to see, what you think's going to be added, what you kind of dream to be added to it that may not be completely realistic. Just leave all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. But of course, as always, people are expecting a lot of things to be coming in in this update. But especially being that the All Gotten Gains update was actually in two parts, it's bringing the question that it may involve actually bigger things that couldn't quite be finished for part one, and that could actually completely change the way online is played. So we're going to talk about what we might be seeing in this part two of the update, and what we'd like to see, and what we expect to be coming. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, be sure to go and drop a like down below, as it does help me out immensely as always. Now let's go. So the first thing that a lot of people are wanting to see and that could very much change the way that online is played is the, of course the addition of the casino. Now the casino has actually been something that's been talked about for pretty much since the release of GTA 5 because the opening soon banner has always been flown just outside of the building. So there's been loads of different pieces of leaked code, random stuff, little texture leaks here and there with actual stuff that would read the high roller on it. So for example, we actually had a particular slot machine that had the branding high roller on the top of it. Now, and actually some people are speculating in the GTA 5 community that this may be related to the ill gotten gains update by the fact that the high roller update sounds very much like the ill gotten gains update in terms of what it may contain. It's saying that the high roller was the original name for this DLC and that it's set to be including the casino DLC at some point. So of course this is an addition that a lot of people have wanted to see for a very long time including myself as it'd be a nice way to be able to play some like slot games, some card games maybe, and would seem to be a good way to make some money in GTA Online. The next thing that a lot of people are hoping to see, and that of course is just as expensive, being that this is kind of revolving around the update where you're going to get the money from the heists, and it's meant to be a lot of more expensive things for living a higher type of life. The second thing is actually the mansions. Now, again, this has been talked about for a very long time, and the people have really wanted to see mansions come in instead of just needing to buy a standard apartment. You'd be able to have an entire house to yourself, the garage and everything. And this seems like of all of the updates, this would be the one to come into in the Ill-Gotten Gains update, as you are supposed to have quite a lot of money from the heist, in theory, and you'd be able to afford this high way of living. The third is actually to be able to have a yacht. Now, whether you'd be able to control this or not, we don't know. But the fact that we already have the yacht in game is actually used in one single player mission and in the heist mission. We have two different boats there. So people would actually like to be able to buy the yacht and be able to control it and drive it around the map or sail it around the map and just be able to have lots of different things in it. Act like an apartment already so you'd be able to have a wardrobe in there, you'd be able to have a bed, you'd be able to maybe have a helipad and stuff on there. And a lot of people want a boat that comes out of the side of it to then be able to rejoin the mainland as you would on kind of a larger size real life yacht. So again, it seems quite unlikely to ever get in game but nonetheless it's something on my wish list that I would like to see and that is kind of possible to expect in the Ilgotten Gains update part 2. But finally something that I'd like to see in the next update piece is actually just cheaper prices for the new additions. I'm not saying that they need to lower what we've already got but for any of the new additions which they do end up adding things need to be cheaper people can't afford like the 10 million dollar jet which i know is a bit of a gimmick for especially those who've finished the criminal mastermind challenge but 2 million for a supercar about another 2 million to get the next two lower down cars it's just extremely expensive and most people can't afford to be able to get all of the new stuff so cheaper prices for the new additions would be very much appreciated of course so if you guys did end up enjoying this video be sure to go and drop a like down below as it really does help me out as always be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this coming very, very soon. I have lots of videos ideas planned, and I've actually got an extremely exciting GTA Machinima coming out this Saturday, so I'm very much looking forward to showing you guys that. It's part one of a more story-driven series and a bit less action-packed than my standard kind of Machinima videos. And finally, follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description down below. If you follow me there, you'll get more behind-the-scenes updates and general GTA 5 and real-life content, which doesn't go up on this channel. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.